For those clients using our packaging option, which you see by hitting the right mouse button on one of the tasks at the bottom here, you see packages. We've added a couple of new options here. One is to save to a PDF and also save to HTML format here. Uh, we'll show you that in separate videos, but right now we're going to talk about this, the PDF. If you want to save the PDF, you have to do a specific formatting on your package designs, and that's what we're going to cover in this video here. So you see if you check that here, it will check this, and then you generate the package. You get the Excel-based package, but you'll also get a PDF document in this case. Now, how do you set up your package formats to uh, accept the PDF format? So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here, you're going to go to your file, you will go to options, and you'll go to your settings here. And this is where we have the package configuration here. And I can just open up this here. Now I've only got one right here, package data. And what you have to do is you have to set the print area on both the template sheet and the cover sheet. So they will adjust appropriately as you extend the size of the, each of the uh, sheets here. It will automatically adjust and print the PDF in the right format. It's actually quite easy to do this. What I like to do is find the bottom right hand corner of your design here and just hold your mouse down and drag it all the way to the left here. Now what's going to happen is the Timer Pro is actually going to know how many rows there are and it will extend it down the way, down the page here. But we have to know the correct width here and that's what you're seeing right here. And then what you do is you go to Page Layout and you do two things. You do first of all you click on the print area here and you set the print area. And then this is the most important one. You can down to this little drop down here at the bottom right, the page setup here, and you click on it. And what you want to do is set it to landscape and also remove this here. The, uh, this little trick that's not documented, but if you remove that here, it will automatically adjust the size in a vertical direction, the tall as they call it here. Okay, once you've got that, that's all you have to do. Click on the OK. Then you'll repeat the same one for your cover sheet. So go back to your cover sheet, look for the bottom right hand corner here, down here, click on it and then drag it up to the left so you highlight the full area here. And then you do the same thing, you go to the print area, you set the print area, you go to the little tag at the bottom right here, click on it. Uh, it should remember it's in landscape, it will put this back by default, remove that here. right? And then click on the OK. And then of course you want to save your design, so just save it right here. And then you can close out of it and cancel out of this here. It's back out of it here. So now you're ready. So if you want to produce your package, you can come in here. You can do uh, show all details to show the groupings you have. Show all groupings. We have to be in the show all groupings area to generate the packages. Hit the right mouse button down here. Click on your package. It remembers I selected that a few minutes ago. And then I go package station. It's going to ask me for the design I want to use, this case the one we have here. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a uh, folder here. I'll get my Timer Pro, I've got my packages, I've got my PDF. And I'm going to add a new folder here called PD2. Right, and click in here. And then just click on leave the package name as before, click on the save. And it will go away and it will start generating this. And this is exactly the same process as goes through, it's building it in Excel here. And this is going to let it run here. If you watch closely at the end, you should see it running across the PDF being generated here. And you'll see it running across the screen when it's generated. Okay, and it's done it. In fact, it went so quick you didn't see it there. So you can uh, double click on this. It'll take you back into the document. Of course, we're in our Excel sheet here. But if we go and look in, the, um, in my documents, in my Timer Pro, and in my packages, my PDF, my PD2, you'll find there's now a PDF document in there. And you can click on that, and it's going to come up. This is the summary page. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it here. Okay, so you can see your summary page here. Make it full size. Okay, and then you can page down, and you'll see each of the sheets in turn printed out. Very nice quality into your PDF document there. So that's the setup that you have to do. You only have to do it once on your packages so that you can generate PDF documents from the, uh, from the Timer Pro packaging option. Again, key thing is when you do it here, be sure you check the save to PDF.